वादा किया था सर आय बढ़ाने का आय तो बढ़ी नहीं महंगाई बढ़ गई और सर बढ़ती महंगाई और घटती कमाई के चलते आज देश को आधार कार्ड की नहीं उधार कार्ड की जरूरत पड़ रही है देश के आम आदमी को उधार कार्ड की जरूरत उधार कार्ड वेन यू हेयर इट आर सपोज टू आधार कार्ड इट्स वेरी अपीलिंग बट वी शुड नॉट मॉक द स्मॉल बोरोवर्स हु आर गोइंग टू द बैंक अंडर मुद्रा लोन के सी सी क्रॉप लोन बींग टेकन एम एस एम ईज आर कमिंग अंडर ई सी एल जी एस एंड ऑल्सो मुद्र एंड ऑल्सो अदर स्मॉल लोन विच मेनी ऑफ द स्मॉल बिजनेस रिटेल लोन टेक Sir, member Raghav Chadda is not here. Uh, I just want to highlight that he said underestimated BE numbers and mismanagement of budgetary allocation. I thought I've addressed this, but I just want to highlight the fact again that after the global financial crisis, 2008-9, 20% of the original budget came as supplementary demand for grants. 20% uh, in 2008-2009. and after the crow covid crisis in 2020 2021 we have come up with a supplementary demand for grants for 19% whereas what we have come out now is only 8% of the fiscal he also uh, honorable member raghav chadda also said that uh, you know debt and total debt outstanding debt for the central government so central government debt or the total liability of the central government has actually been coming down since 2013-14 till we were hit by covid i just very quickly run down the numbers sir 2013-14 as a percentage of gdp it was 51% 14-15 so it come down to 50.1 50.2 the next year 48.7 next year 48.5 the next year 49.0 the next year which is 2018-19 but post covid sir it went up to 52.4 which was drastically brought down 52.4 61.6 but which was brought down to 58.7 it is coming down even as we speak so we have been careful about the borrowing and also the liability of the central government sir <laughs> member raghav chadda has also been saying things about inflation and uh, in a very colloquial and also very populist way he said what is aadhar card you should actually be giving udhar cards and he also said inflation the wholesale inflation wpi inflation is high and it is in double digit sir he is a qualified accountant honorable member is a qualified accountant i am not one so with my limitation but i still want to present before him that he should kindly look into the numbers before he speaks he is not here unfortunately sir at one point in time during his gujarat visits the honorable member had mentioned that every person in gujarat has a debt of 58000 crores per capita that is every person and the gujarat government spends 38000 crores on every person annually sir unbelievable i would like to request the honorable member to revisit his numbers similarly he said wpi inflation is high and in double digit in india if only he notices the press or the media reports wpi inflation has come down to 21 month low of 5.85% sir where is it in double digit wholesale food inflation is at 2.17% sir so qualified accountant so similarly udhar card when you hear it as opposed to aadhar card it's very appealing but we should not 
uh, mock the small borrowers who are going to the bank under mudra loan, KCC, crop loans being taken, MSMEs are coming under ECLGS, and also mudra, and also other small loans, which many of the small business retail loans that they take. Is Aadhaar card helping them in the bank and then going and taking because the KYC gets established? We, we cannot afford to even uh, for a moment uh, mock at people who need that small assistance. And the government is making it far more transparent by giving them the Aadhaar card. The KYC is better enabled. So I appeal to the member to please look at the data that is laid on the table of the house here through his speech. So also, the interesting debate which is going on now, your freebie versus my freebie. So we, honestly, it is important to recognize that when you are transparent in your methods and you put it on account for everybody to see, there is no debate over it. So there's no debate over it. Once again. Uh... The Honorable Finance Minister has made some reflections. You will do well to go through them after the House proceedings are over. Try to digest as a certified chartered accountant and, 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 and see me in the chamber thereafter. Sir, Honorable sir, Minister. You may not kindly consider that sir, this is Mr. Raghav Chadda alone one, one represents chartered accountants. No, no, one Many of us are embarrassed by his accountants. Sir, this is between two chartered accountants. Neither the Honorable Minister is a chartered accountant nor am I. Honorable Minister. So thank you, sir. Sir. Later. So all we want is transparency and compliance with the statutory fiscal rules. So it's important that we pay government salaries. I'm, I'm now talking about some media reports. I'm not drawing any particular paper or anything like that. In the last couple of months, sir, they have been highlighted. They have continuously been highlighted. <coughs> the paper, papers are highlighting that, the, that one state government is unable to timely pay salaries of its government employees. And employees are protesting. I have not named any state. But you see such reports in the media. It's pe perhaps because funds are uh, being used in uh, giving numerous different, uh, uh, you know, advertisements all over the country, and the state government therefore remains incapable of giving salaries. Now subsidies or freebies are therefore to be contextualized. And if you are able to put it in your budget, and make a provision for it, and when your revenues come, you give the monies, why would anyone have an objection? Education, health, and also many subsidies given to farmers are all fully justified. Nobody's got a problem with it. So I just want to highlight that many of these things will have to be contextualized rather than us quickly you know, uh, trying to gain one or the other brownie point.